hi in this video we will look at the architecture of our social networking app spring boot react full stack application architecture we use my sql db to store comment post like and unlike and as you can see these are the four pillars of our application react redux spring boot and my sql db as you can see here we have react inside react we have rotor we use rotor to navigate around posts because each post have its comment so we have component component is what make up our application and each component have a task to perform so this component as we have different component create post component so this component make up the application so and we have axios which we make a rest api call inside the redux as you can see we have action because you see it connected to our component inside the component we have some functions and some of these function we called it from the action so when we call the action inside our component when it is a queued, it called the redux we have redux middleware which allow us to do some asynchronous work such as sending a request okay so when we send a request then it direct to the api axios in the react then to spring rest controller spring data jpa my sql db okay so this is how we make request and you see we have reducer reducer is executes these actions that we have and when it is a cute this action there are logic that we apply based on the action we apply some logic a reducer and the reducer perform this logic when it perform it changes our state which is in store so when the state change then it will display to view and this is the architecture we will continue to use this architecture throughout the course because it will help us know where we are and you will recall the lesson that we have done before using the architecture so we will continue to use the architecture throughout the application and the next thing we will look at is the tools and technologies that we use so here we have tools and technologies that we use in front end so in front end we use vs code ide react redux axios http library which we use to perform a request or we used to make race api call okay we have node.js and npm redux chrome dev tool okay so this is the tools and technologies we use in front end and then in the backend we have spring suite tool marvin apart 4.0.0.0 we use mysql driver spring boot 3.2 plus then the java version is 17 okay so these are the tools and technologies we use both in the backing and in the front end okay so the next thing we will look at is the prerequisite so what you need to have or what you will have before following this tutorial so that you will not left behind okay so here are the prerequisite first at least you have basic knowledge of javascript you have at least basic knowledge of html css then basic knowledge of java as our backend deal with java so then we have react basic at least you have knowledge of react basic then you have node.js and npm installed in your vs code so this is what 
we what are the prerequisite okay so in the next video we will create a new spring boot project so i hope you will continue to follow this tutorial up until we finish all the development of the social networking app thank you for watching see you in the next video